Welcome to Electron Online. Another very interesting application for logarithms and exponential functions is the application to sound and sound and distance. For example, let's say that a person uh, is about 100 meters away. I think I'll let D1, distance D1 equal to 100 meters, 100 meters away from a sound source and the intensity of the sound in decibels as measured by that person, let's say that that is equal to 80 decibels. Now what would a second person right here, who's now a thousand meters away from the sound source, what would be the sound intensity for that person? It'll obviously be less because that person is farther away. The question is how do you calculate that? And here's the equation. The sound intensity for the second person is equal to the sound intensity for the pers first person plus 20 times the log of the ratio of the distance from the source for the first person divided by the distance from the source for the second person. So let's go find out what the sound intensity will be for the second person being a thousand meters away. All right, so B2 is equal to B1, which is 80 decibels, plus 20 times the log of that ratio. Now D1 is 100 meters and D2 is a thousand meters. So that would be one over a thousand or 0.1. So we take 0.1, take the log of that, which is negative one, so this becomes B2 is equal to 80 plus 20 times the negative 1. So therefore, B2 is equal to 80 minus 20. So B2 is equal to 60 decibels. So if a person is 10 times as far away as another person, the sound intensity drops by 20 decibels. And that's how we go ahead and use that kind of application for sound intensity and logarithmic scales. That's how it's done.